looking at data tables and analyzing them kind of requires a, a different kind of thinking than just solving problems. You can solve equations and just memorize the steps and pretty much solve any kind of um, linear equation that you need to. And just, just by memorizing the thought process and going through the steps and you can get it down. But when you're looking at a data table and having to analyze the kind of relationship that you see in the data table, it really does require uh, deeper thinking. And so sometimes this can be a little bit tricky for some students, uh, but hopefully this video will help you and hopefully that will make it easy for you. Before we talk about whether the numbers in each data table here show a linear relationship or not, let me back up and just talk about linear relationships just really quickly. On a graph, if you were to graph a linear relationship, as the line suggests, it would make a straight line. Uh, but what about this is making it straight? If you look at this line, really what we have here is we have a nice straight line that has a constant slope the whole way. You never see one part of it dropping off like this and then getting steeper and then maybe getting flatter or less steep. It has a constant slope the whole way or it's changing the same amount as time goes on. It has a constant rate of change. And so we can see that in the fact that it's a straight line. We can also see it if we look more specifically at the numbers. If we start up here in the uh, upper part of this graph, if we're going to go uh, from this point down the line, every time we go over one square, this line is going to go down one, two, three. We go over one, we go down one, two, three. Over one, down one, two, three. Over one, down one, two, three. So you can see here that follows that same pattern the whole way. I can keep drawing that and it never changes. Over one, down three, it keeps going. So really, every time we change the x coordinate by one, the y coordinate goes down three. You change x by one, y goes down by three. x goes up by one, y goes down by three. That uh, same proportion, that same relationship stays along the whole path of that line. Well, we can kind of see that too. It's maybe not as easy to see in a data table as it is on a graph, but in data tables we can see the same relationship. So here we want to decide which of these graphs has that linear relationship where it has a constant rate of change the whole way. Let's look at the first one. Let's start the top row up here, let's start with those. Those are the x values, the values on the bottom, those are the y values, and let's just look to see how they are changing first. Here we can see that the x's are going by plus 1. Here, from 2 to 3, it's going up by plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. The x's are increasing by 1 every time. Well, what are the y's doing? Maybe I'll use a marker so this shows up a little nicer. Every time x goes up by plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus one, what's happening to the y coordinates? Well, from here to here, I should say the y values here, from negative four to negative one, that's an increase of plus three. From negative one to two, it's increasing by three again. From two to five, it's another increase of three, and from five to eight, it's increasing by three yet again. So you can see here, every time x goes up by 1, y goes up by 3. x goes up by 1, y goes up by 3. x goes up by 1, y goes up by 3. x goes up by 1, y goes up by 3. Because that has a constant rate of change the whole way through that data table, we would say that yes, this is a linear data table. So this one, yes, is linear. That first one is linear. Let's look at the next one. What's happening in this second data table? Let's again look at the x's on top. Looks like x is going from negative 3 to negative 2. That's plus 1. 
from negative two to negative one is plus one, from negative one to zero is plus one, from zero to one is plus one. So x's are, again, just like the first data table, increasing by one. What's happening to the y values? From 10 to eight is minus two, from eight to six is minus two, from six to four is minus two, from four to two is minus two. So the y values are decreasing by two every time. Is it linear? Every time x goes up by 1, y decreases by 2. x goes up 1, y is minus 2. Plus 1, minus 2, plus 1, minus 2. This also has a constant rate of change. This time it's the y's are decreasing instead of increasing like they were up here, but at least the change is still constant. It's still subtracting 2 from the y's every time x goes up by 1. So yes, because it's a constant rate of change, this one is also linear. Let's look at data table number three. Again, the x's are going plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. The x's are increasing by one every time. Let's look at the y's. Here from two to four is plus two. From four to seven is plus three. Uh-oh. Already we're seeing a little uh, variation from what we were seeing before. From 7 to 11 is plus 4. From 11 to 16 is plus 5. So here we had a change of x of plus 1, and that went with a change in y of plus 2. Change of x is plus 1, y is plus 3. Add 1 to x, add 4 to y, add 1 to x, add 5 to y. That is not a constant rate of change. It is changing by greater and greater amounts every time. So we would say that this is non-linear. It is not following a constant rate of change. So that one is non-linear. And let's look at the last one. The last table down here. X is going by plus 5. Plus 5 plus 5, plus 5. X's are going up by plus 5 every time. What are the Y's doing? Well, here it is. From negative 4 to negative 8 is minus 4. From negative 8 down to negative 12 is also minus 4. From negative 12 to negative 16 is, again, minus 4. And negative 16 and negative 20 is minus 4 yet again. So is this linear? Well, when we go plus 5 to the x's, minus 4 to the y's. Plus 5 to the x's, minus 4 to the y's. Plus 5, minus 4, plus 5, minus 4. So it looks to me like, yes, every time you have a certain change in x, we're getting the exact same change in y every time. So this is another example of a linear relationship. A linear relationship. So when you're looking for linear relationships, you're want to, wanting to look for that constant rate of change. If you're looking at data tables, you can see that by looking to see how the numbers are increasing or decreasing over time. And of course, if you're looking at a graph, you want to look for that constant slope, making it a straight line. So that is how you can do it. Hopefully, uh, you'll have some success now as you are attempting to look at your own data tables. Good luck.